I spilled like a, an entire growler of beer and it was all in my carpet and I cried. <laughs> I was mean, like, I cried too. It was the biggest, it was like the worst nightmare I've had in a very long time. Uh, hi, welcome to Laughs and Drafts episode 94 <coughs> or something. Point seven. Point seven. Uh, it's been a few weeks since, well, actually. It's been like three weeks. Once this comes out. Another episode will have come out, so it won't have been three weeks, but it was three weeks before, so sorry about the pause, whatever. You know? Yeah. Life. Took, a, took a little break. Life some life gets issues. in the way, but but we're, oh, we're, well. we're back at it, and uh, it's going to be more regular here soon. Ben got in a fight with a weed whacker and lost. <laughs> um, you should see the weed whacker, though. I'm fucking <laughs> <out>. <laughs> It won this fight, but it didn't win the war. <laughs> um, so, for this week, what we did is uh, Ben had a beer that I've never had mm-hmm. and, and brought it. And then I had a beer that that I've never had and that he's never had. And then I brought that. And so now we're tasting each other's beers. You get... My right. love, there's only you in my life. <laughs> I thought we were having a one. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so the beer that I brought is the Stone Witty Moron. It's a black wit beer, which is really interesting. Um, I had it at the Stone World Gardens and Bistro uh, it looks in much, Escondido, California. It looks like and, a straight-up stout. And it's a wheat beer, but it's black. Like when they call it a black wit, it's not like, oh, it's dark. It's actually black. Hell yeah. yeah. And... A hundred and fifty percent non-transparent. Yeah. So I, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna take a drink of it. Yeah, we, I don't and know what I can't understand you with your mouth full of wieners. Like I feel like I'm gonna be expecting like a stout taste, yeah. and it's gonna taste yep. funny because I'm not like yes. I don't know what to expect from it. Yes. And then the second taste, it's gonna will be, be right. Yes. You're excited. Wow. Be excited. What did you bring me, Benjamin? Uh, Dogfish Heads Immortale. It's a play on Immortal. Oh, is that what it is? Um, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> um, peat smoked barley, vanilla, maple, aged in oak barrels, and it's it's really fucking it's delicious. Freaking amazing. Freaking delicious. It's 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 smoky and sweet and great. Well, what are we I'll starting with? We really like it. What would you um, like to start with? Or do you just want to taste them? Like I'll taste this one and you taste this let's one. Let's do that. We'll do it at the same time. Let's do that. Prost. Prost. Please don't spill beer on my microphone. Cheers. Oh, that's some peaty. Oh wow. It's definitely a wheat beer. That is definitely a peaty. Peaty and mapley and oaky. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the black wit real quick. What are your thoughts? It kind of reminds me of that Irish stout that we had that I really fucking hated. Oh, really? You don't yeah. like it at all? It it's not that I don't like it at all. It's 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 not um, like when you said it was a black wheat. I I was expecting like I was expecting more. Flavors be- because it was not just a wheat beer, you know. Because it's dark and that tells me it's got like smoked ingredients mm-hmm. and and stuff like that. You know, it tastes like smoked wheat and not much else. I mean, maybe I need to get down to the bottom of the glass, you know, work through the flavors, work through the glass, and go ahead. Give an opinion on it. Yeah, go ahead. Do that closer to the microphone. 
Oh, that's gross. All right, now you're just making um, <laughs> Let's get Getting weird. everybody uncomfortable. Let's get weird. So, um, it's it's pretty good, though. All right, it kind of grows on you after that. It grows, it grows on you. It gets a little sweeter. Um, it's it's definitely weird because it, it does have, like, a smokier, darker... It's malt smoked. flavor, yeah. But at the same time, you're still getting that wheat. It's the front, it's, yeah. Which, it's, so it, it's kind it's of that it's weird. A, that wheat, like it's not a punch on the face of wheat. Of wheat, it's like a flick in the nose of wheat. You know what I mean? Mm, like yeah, somebody, yeah. Like a nose. light, like a lighter impact. Yeah, wheat. <laughs> you don't make any sense ever. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah, so I think it's. I think what I like about this beer is that it's so. It's so just so different. Like it's like it's different. It's a weird from, combination from of the flavor profiles. That I'm used to. So I mean, I, I, I like it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, quite. <coughs> oh. yes. The burps taste good too. I can't wait for the day where you find a burp that doesn't taste good. Because that's never happened. Uh, after eating curry, those burps taste funny. So yeah, they, like as you work your way down the glass, it gets it. You know, you get more flavor, and it gets a little sweeter. I'll let it breathe a little bit. I'd give it a three, three point two five. Hmm. Huh. I could see myself drinking this to like with like a steak. Yeah. Like a steak with potatoes or something. But kind of a very, mm. like, hearty meal. I like it. Mm. I would give it a 3.5. 3.5 what? I'm going to let you pick the rating because it's a... Uh, well, it morons. 3.5 <laughs> morons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 3.5 morons. But one Donald Trump. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? One Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> That's the conversion rate is three three point five. <laughs> One Donald Trump equals yeah. three point five morons. Uh, <laughs> and that's a compliment. Oh boy. After this week God. I'd probably after this week I'd probably multiply that. Maybe 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 three point five is like well, you know, I hate him. Yeah. So three point five, three point two five morons. Still yummy. Yeah, I could drink it. Yeah. And I will drink it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's move on to this uh, this this very very interesting brie. Immort ale. Immort ale. It's a play on uh, the word immortal. <laughs> You're dumb guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. This this is one of my favorite beers that I've had. It's a little. This is very good. The malt is is humongous. Um, really heavy malt. Oh, it's 11%. Fuck me. Yeah, it, uh, it's a huge malt. A really, really strong. It's a malt bomb, for sure. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of maple. You get really the sweetness of the maple. Um, more so, I think, than the vanilla. But it's all there. Mm-hmm. And then, then just, yeah, super malty. But you can... And what I like, too, it's 11%, so it's obviously boozy. But, like, you don't really taste the it booziness. Does, it doesn't it's have kind that of, burn. Yeah, it's kind, right. of, it's kind of washed out by the... Uh, just by the malt and the, it, to me, it's washed out by the by the smoked barley, like uh, the smoke, uh-huh. the smoky peat smoke, right? Yeah, yeah. Peat moss bags. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm gonna say um, no. You rated the other one first. You shut your mouth right now. Shut your yeah, but you mouth. came up with the with oh, okay. with the rating. What's so the rating? Um, I'm gonna say snail shells because that looks like a snail shell. The thing on there. The worst. Um. Okay. I'm gonna give this beer a 3.78. Really? Snail shells. All right. I really like it. I really like it. I just I don't know. It's like I think 3.78 is pretty awesome. I'm, That's a good I rating. I say 4.5. 4.55. Repeating, of course. With a little line over it. Yeah. I'm not even. Ooh. Uh oh. What is that? What is? Oh shit. He got it. Stone. Uh. He was looking out. Mm-hmm. That is, and isn't that? It's it's like a nice hat. Like it's like, it's like elegant. You know. Incoming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, it's time for food. <laughs> she doesn't want me to do this, but this is Jessica. She's my girlfriend, and she just made a sa- sandwich. And uh, these, I realized, what's that? They're papitas. What's a papita? 
What, what do you say, papita? <laughs> What's the papita? The papita is like a papita. Like a papita. It's a papita. A papita. <laughs> Is a papita. <laughs> a papita's a papita. <laughs> a papita is a papita. It's uh, it's like these? a little, it's like a little potato chip type thing. Yeah, just like a like a really done French fry. Yeah, papa. Papa is is potato. Mm-hmm. Papa. Papa. <laughs> papa. <laughs> Sound like a minion when you do that. <laughs> All right, let's let's rate the sandwich. <laughs> oh. Oh jeez. Mm. Five out of five for pizzas. Five for pizzas. <laughs> oh, you're doing five out of five? Yeah. We're doing out of five. Five out of five for oh, pizzas. I said five out of like a thousand. Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> All right, so we got dogfish head, immortal. immortal. It's a play on words on immortal. <laughs> and uh, Stone's witty moron. Mm-hmm. What's the full name of this? It's a Liberty Station Woody Moron, and I think Liberty Station was like a an event they did or a series of beers that they did. I don't sounds, know if it was a... It sounds like a station. Yeah. Sort. I don't know if it was a... I don't know anything. I'm just not going to say it. Look it up. Liberty Station Woody Moron. There's crunchy. Um, I did find out that Stone is very close to... Uh, Getting approved to build a 99-room hotel right next door to their uh, restaurant in Escondido. Oh, and essentially, it would be a stone brewing company-themed hotel. It's, it wouldn't be owned and operated by them, but they would be directly involved. You get a, a free beer that's brewed especially for the hotel upon check-in. They have, they're going to have uh, cabinets in the rooms, especially sized for growlers oh. and they'll have preferred seating at their uh, bistro gardens and I'm assuming they're going to have some other kind of uh, beer related whether it's tours whatever um, Stone already puts on some pretty amazing uh, tours in their their restaurant the whole building was an old bank that was repurposed as the brewery and I would probably say the restaurant comprises maybe like 30% of the building, and the rest is all brewing tanks. It's beautiful. Their food is fantastic, albeit a little I've expensive. Heard, I've heard about, I've heard their food is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but it's really tasty. Mm-hmm. Jessica really liked the cheese plate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then, uh,. The pretzels are anyway. Food's good. <coughs> pretzels are always so good. Stone is crushing it. Why did Billy drop his ice cream cone? Why? Because he got hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's savage. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> I think that's it. We're done, right? We're done. Go okay. away. Go home. Get on with your lives. But like us on Instagram and Facebook. But we love you. Sure. We love you. <laughs> that is the second gayest thing we've done today. <laughs> <laughs>